There are a few basic safety precautions that should be taken when watering batteries. These precautions include ensuring that the person watering the batteries is wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE. This typically includes protective gloves, a protective apron, and eye protection. These simple pieces of equipment can greatly reduce the potential of skin contact with the electrolyte. Batteries should be watered in an appropriate area which includes a stable and level surface, adequate ventilation, and absence of spark or flame producing items. While the electrolyte itself is not flammable, there may be residual hydrogen gas inside the battery cells from the charging process. And lastly, if there are any bystanders in the area, please be sure to make them aware of the situation so that they are able to use caution as well. Please visit OSHA's website for more information about their requirements. There are two basic ways of adding water to a battery. One way is to add water directly into the individual cells using a watering gun or nozzle. The other way is to add water into the cells through a battery watering system. While there are several brands and models of battery watering systems, they all function similarly. After the battery has been fully charged, you can begin the watering process. The battery being watered here does not have a watering system installed. Notice the technician is wearing the appropriate PPE. Remove or open the vent cap on every cell of the battery. Visually check each cell, looking to see if you can see the electrolyte level. If you can see the electrolyte covering the top of the protective splash plate, the cell is not in need of water. If the electrolyte level is below the splash plate, then the cell requires water. Ensure your watering gun or nozzle is adjusted correctly for the battery you are watering. On most models, this is done by inserting the tip into the battery until it contacts the splash plate, then adjusting the depth indicator to ensure each cell is watered to the same level. Activate the water flow on your device. These devices are designed to shut off water flow on back pressure. This means that when the water level reaches the tip of the nozzle or gun, the flow is automatically shut off. This is your indicator to move to the next cell. Repeat this process until all cells have been watered. Close or reinstall the vent caps. Now you are seeing a battery being watered through a watering system. Watering systems are designed to speed up the watering process, eliminate the need to remove the battery from the lift truck, and minimize some of the other inherent hazards in the watering process. While the PPE requirements are typically relaxed when watering a battery equipped with a watering system, good safety practices are always recommended. Remove the dust cap on the battery watering system if equipped. Attach the connectors on the battery to the water source. Activate the water flow on our device. Monitor the flow indicator on your watering device. This will shut off when each cell has received the appropriate amount of water. Disconnect the watering system and device. While watering systems are designed to water each cell of the battery, it is always a good idea to check each cell from time to time just to ensure there are not problems with your system. Regardless of which process you use to water your batteries, it is always a good practice to conduct a good visual inspection of the battery every time you water it. Typically, look for things like the condition of the battery cables. They should be free from exposed copper and not have excessive kinks or cuts in their protective case. Make sure the connectors are not cracked or broken. Evaluate the overall cleanliness of the exterior of your battery. Excessive corrosion can allow shorts to exist between the battery and the lift truck. If any of these conditions are found, they should be corrected by a qualified battery service provider. Watering isn't the only maintenance that is required from industrial batteries. Plan maintenance and washes are also important ways to maintain your batteries. Please contact us at BrowerOnline.com or 1-800-645-6083 to learn more and schedule your maintenance.